Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Me. It's Kendrick. Hey, go. Man, 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 look like them boys, they did it, man, they had a good time out there. Um, man, I didn't know, I'm seeing where he went to Nickerson Garden as well. Um, I thought he was just going to be in Compton, but that, I mean, I'm believing it's like right up the street from each other, but at any rate, man, kudos to K-Dot, man, Kendrick Lamar showed up in Compton yesterday after me and OG had spoke about it way before it had happened. We knew we had insight on it, that it was going to happen. Well, you know, um, the video, you know, when is the video dropping now? That becomes a thing of like, okay, when is this video dropping? Because everybody's anxious and anticipating, especially all the people that was out there, man. Shout out to OG Pyru, man. I'll probably call him in a minute because I'm going to be real with you. This here is a monumental moment, man. First of all, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys tap in. Uh, make sure you guys uh, become members of Boss Talk 101. Um, I'm just really just uh, recapping a little bit of what happened yesterday. Um, it was a lot went on, a lot of crazy stuff happened too, but not even getting that, this is the good stuff on the West Coast that I'm seeing where, man, everybody, every walk of life came together, man. These guys came out, showed up, respected one another, man, and just great, great vibes all day long, man. It was, it was so dope to see everybody come together like they did. And I just want to say, man, kudos to our brothers, man, for figuring it out. Black people, black people, man. Like I said, anytime you see some positivity come through like this, you got to big it up. You got to start showing, hey, man, black people can come together. I always say blacks do come together. When it's time to promote our artists, they always step up. A lot of people try to deny it. All oh, blacks can't get along. Black. No, that's not true. There's a lot of brothers and sisters that come together for this music, for this culture, and I'm stepping up and standing on that fact, man. Shout out to all the people down in the South with me, all of the ones who keep watching and supporting what we're doing as well. Shout out to all the people on the East Coast, 
the West Coast, all our people, man. I love our people, man. Just seeing them, you know, positive in a positive light, man. I know we can do it. And I'm going to always press that button. Let me, um, you know, I always try to call OG Pyru when I'm talking about uh, stuff that goes on up on that coast, man. He knows, man. Let me see. Let me see what he got for me today. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The thing going in, man. Mm. Hey, what's going on, OG, man? What up, what up, with man? Talk? Man, I'm on, I'm on this thing, man. I'm looking, man. I'm seeing Kendrick, man. Look like y'all had a hell of a time out there yesterday, man. Appreciate them pictures you sent me, too, bro. Like I said, y'all was out there. Y'all was in Compton. Why did they do this event at? Man, uh, well, he he started off at Tams on uh, that's headquarters. That's uh, the the capital of Piru headquarters, Rosecrans and Central. On the they call it the Deuce Line, 142nd. He started off over there. Then he, uh, I mean, it was like two to three thousand kids. I mean, Bloods, Crips, Mexicans. So everybody. Everybody, I mean, it, this was so monumental. I mean, he did some stuff that the last time they did anything this big was Michael Conception in 1991. We're all in the same gang. Man, because it looked like it was a lot of people out there, man. I'm looking at it flooding the scene, just people everywhere hollering, they not like us. They not like us. All they not like the us. They, they all down rose crying all day. All you can hear is they not like us. But one thing about it, uh, Boss Talk, Ain't nobody like this 10 square miles. Come on, man. No, ain't nothing in the world came from from NWA to straight out of Compton to to uh, 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 game to uh, um, DJ Quick. They, Compton is monumental for setting the pace. Wow, wow. They not like us. They not like us. Man, they always have been a litany of just a great talent coming from up there, man. And a lot of time people, you know, they glorify the gang life and all that. And it's cool. But at the end of the day, they don't talk about this part a lot, man. But it's a lot of time. Man, um, the culture done got behind these artists and then pushed these artists to perfection. To, to entrepreneurial goals that others will never reach, man. So black people can come together when it comes down to this music, and we've seen that. I mean, I mean, not just in music, in this 10 square miles, bro. Anthony Anderson grew up in Compton. George Lopez grew up in Compton. Wow. Duke Snyder from the Los Angeles Dodgers. We've had great lineages since the 50s. Denny Smith. Oh, we uh, Renato Brown is the first one who went to the Olympics in the eleventh grade and got a, a gold medal for high jump for pole vaulting, right? Wow! So we we got it, you know Venus and Serena. We have a plethora of individuals out of Compton. I mean, from capital murder to down to Nobel Peace Prize in, in ten square miles. One wow. guy told me in prison one time, he said, Man, many of y'all up in here, I thought Compton was big as China and you ain't but ten square miles. Wow, you know the the one thing I can say, man, about you guys, man, uh you guys, man, y'all have all these so the crew telling me the Crips the Bloods, all of the, the Hispanic gangs, all of these people came together under the same, uh, uh, for the same matter subject with Kendrick Lamar. They not like us. Wasn't no gun violence. Nobody got shot down during the, nobody the process. Got shot, nobody got, uh, nobody argued every day, the whole day, Saturday, Sunday, even to Monday morning. It's all been peace. Everything is good. Kendrick set another pace for Compton again. Wow. And then he stopped by Nicholson Garden. I didn't even know that. I've seen it on there. I, 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 I don't know when he done it. Yeah. But it, uh, he said he did it later on in the afternoon. He After he left uh, Cam's, he went to the courthouse in front of the courthouse. They got a, a, a Martin Luther King monument. And he did some stuff over there. And after he left there, he I understand he went to Looters Park, uh, another a park on the east side. So he did Tams on the west side, went over to the east side uh, to Looters Park. And from Looters Park, I heard, I understand that he went down to the Nickerson Garden. Well, let me ask you this. When you was living across the street from his mother, when y'all when you would see him as a kid, did you ever envision or imagine that he would be 
the Kendrick Lamar that we have today when you seen him no, as a his, kid. His mom, his mom stayed across the street from my mother. I didn't. I never. Yeah, I never seen him rap. I when we got on, I was. I had an artist on Warner Brothers, and he he came up one day to an industry party with J Rock. J Rock out of Watts. I know he got some people out of the Nixon Gardens. And I'm like, oh, Kendrick, he comes up to me, he's talking and this and that. And the next time I see him, Game did a concert introducing J-Rock, and I see him up on the stage. Everybody from Compton was on the stage. I'm Robin Banks down in Florida one day. <laughs> call me, call me, tells me more. You you uh you know Kendrick? I'm like, yeah, he said, you, you know what he into? I'm like, no, he said, man, go look at the Source magazine, right? I go look at the Source magazine. He's there with Dr. Dre. Wow. What? I missed it. I slept on him all the time. Wow, man. That's dope, man. Well, I tell you, man, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, man, for uh, uh, picking up, bro. I just wanted to know kind of what, what had went down down there. But it looked like a great, great coming together our people, man. I love yeah, seeing it. It, 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 it was, was beautiful. And we had the boss talk uh, sweatshirt. On. I seen you had the boss talk on, man. And like I said, I seen you at Compton Minutes. Shout out to Minutes, man. man, man I, 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 no, Compton Minutes was there. Uh, uh, Jay Worthy. Jay Worthy. Uh, uh, problem. I took a picture with them with the boss talk uh, shirt on and they was like, man, we watching all this and everybody, man, we watch you all the time. Some of them didn't really like me, but you man, know. but they got they 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 got to feel you. They got to feel you. They got to feel it. You know, the big OG, what's going on? Because I'm still down these streets. Man. I'm running these, I'm running these, running streets. these streets, still boss stepping. <laughs> boss talk style, man. want to tell you, thank you so much for all your support, man. Appreciate the love. Man, guys, make sure you guys get in. Like, subscribe to the channel, man. OG Pyro just came on, gave us a, a, a whole insight of what went on in Compton yesterday and, and today's temperature and how things are out there. Just want to tell you guys, thank you, man. Make sure you keep on watching Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.